What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Jazbees Mystery Crate number one just sold out. Just posted it up not too long ago, man, and people bought it out. Nice. I love it. This is a random hit break, guys. And again, number one, five total spots. So again, guys, I do tell you the floor and the ceiling. These are based on Jaspie values at what we're selling for in the store. It's about 150, the worst hit in here. Best hit's about 640. And of course, five total spots. We will first open up the crate, show the five hits, then we'll randomize the names and the hits, I should say. And whatever you match up with is what you get. Let me actually add that to the bio right now before I forget. Randomize the names and the hits. And you match up with whatever you get. And if you guys want to run it back, give me some feedback, guys. If you guys want to do it again, let's do it. There's the names and the five. You only have one. <laughs> Just uh, you only have one. Uh, sorry, Trad. We don't have any more. All right, updated right there. Randomized names, hits, and whatever hit you match up with is what you get. All right, so five items per crate. Now this crate is all cards. I'll tell you that right now. But there's sometimes where crates will have boxes, packs, cases, break credit, graded cards, autographs, and more. Uh, but this one's just strictly all cards. And uh, here's the dice rollers and customer names. Once we know the five hits, we'll uh, paste them in here. We'll write them in. We'll randomize the names and the hits and see what you guys match up with. So here we go. So yeah, we got one crate. We created one crate. And it's the only one we got. Here we go, guys. Where the cards are here. All right, first one is a Julio Jones. That's a rookie patch autograph from Upper Deck Exquisite Football. That is numbered 58 out of 99. Back from 2010, I believe. 2011. Upper Deck Football. There you go. Nice hit right there. Next one. We have a graded card, and it is a 2018 Panini Prism Rookie Signature Silver Prism PSA 10 of Colin Sexton. Very nice one right there. PSA 10 as well. Third hit, it's actually one of my favorite cards. It is a on-card autograph of Sandy Koufax. That is a uh, Donner Signatures series autograph. Now again, back in the day, they didn't have so many different parallels. So they basically said, we made 2,000 of them. Here you go. So I know it seems like it's very high numbered, but they, they didn't really make too many. Like I said, they didn't have out of 99s, out of 100s, out of... 50s, 25s, they just basically printed out 2,000 and there you go. That's a really cool card right there. And that's from like 2000 and, uh, actually 1998, actually. Donner Signature Series. That's a pretty cool card right there. Alright. Fourth one. We could actually chase this card out of Top Chrome Black, actually. This is, I think, 2020 edition? How about a little Derek Jeter? Top Scrum Black autograph, which is really tough to hit, guys. These these ones are these bigger bigger veterans are always really tough to hit. And of course the card is fine. I think the card has been or the mag has been a little scratched up at the top, but the card is still perfectly fine. Still sealed from tops. And a nice Derek Jeter Yankees.
And last but not least, this guy is playing like an all-star. And uh, a really, really cool Kaboom rookie. PSA 10. Not a bad one to have right now in someone's collection. 2018 Panini Kaboom. Laurie Markkinen. That's Bulls edition, of course, when he was a rookie. But that is a PSA 10. Kaboom. Kaboom! Love this card. So there you go, guys. Nice. You guys a good little mix right there. Did my best right there while we had. So, of course, let me just recap the hits again. Kaboom. Laurie Markkinen. Got a Jeter autograph. Top Chrome Black. We have a Sandy Koufax auto from Donruss Signature Series. Colin Sexton. PSA 10 Prism Silver Rookie. And, of course, a Julio Jones RPA. Future Hall of Famer as well. So, there you go. There's the five hits right there. Let's switch scenes. Let's, uh... Right in the hit, so first one was a Julio Julio Jones RPA out of 99. Second will be a Colin Sexton Prism Rookie Auto PSA 10. I guess we should put exquisite RPA. Next one we got a uh, Sandy Co Fax Donruss Sig Series Auto. Next one is a Derek Jeter, Topps Chrome Black, Auto, and then we have a Laurie, Markinen, Kaboom, Rookie, PSA 10, and there you go. So there's the five hits there. There's the five customer names. Let's click dice roll. It's a three and a six nine times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Tristan at the top. All the way down to Josh. And oh my god, I think it literally played out the same way that it came out. Dang. And then nine times here on the hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And boom, nine times Julio Jones down to the Sandy Koufax at the bottom. So nine times, nine times. Boom. Let's paste it in here. Let's see what you guys got. So Tristan, you're wound up with the Julio Jones Exquisite RPA D Low with the Laurie Markinen. Kaboom, rookie PSA 10 auto. And of course that one actually was the ceiling. That one was about 640 right now, currently online over 600. So congratulations, buddy. Daniel Hayes, you got the Colin Sexton, rookie Prism Autograph, PSA 10. D Low also with the Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter was also over the spot price. We had that priced over 400, I think 450 on the website on the in the store. And then, of course, Josh Smith with the Sandy Koufax 6 Series. Since I've been saying that, floor and ceiling, unfortunately, the floor was the Julio Jones, Tristan, but that is a nice card. Um, but other than that, like I said, everything was pretty nice in general. Um, and uh, like I said, guys, this was the Mystery Crate number one, random hit number uh, one. And if you guys want to run it back, guys, we can do something similar. I can make it a little less, a little bit more. See what you guys want in there and uh, try to work for your likings, guys. Appreciate it.